the word of God in 2 Samuel 3 verse 18 says, By the hand of my servant David, I will save my people Israel out of the hand of the Philistines and out of the hand of all their enemies. Dear child of God, God is going to strengthen you today and he will use you as the deliverer to save your household. He says, Now then do this, for the Lord has spoken to you that is going to use you to bring deliverance. Dear child of God, they may have been contending against you night and day. They may have been contending against your household. It may have looked like your story is going to end in misery, but do not worry, dear child of God. The Lord is going to give you strength. He's going to give you might. He's going to give you all the abilities that you need and you would overcome in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is saying, I will save you. I will save you from the hands of your enemies. I will save you from the hands of those who wanted to bring pains your way. I will save you from the hands of those who wanted to bring you down. I will save you from the hands of those that had caused you to sorrow. I will save you from them and I will deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. It's going to strengthen you. It says, with whom my hands will strengthen. It says, my own hand also will bring him victories. I'm going to make sure you would have the strength to exact upon all of the enemies. This is the reason God had taught you all the things that you know. Because he wants to bring victory to your household. Because he wants to bring victory to your family. Dear child of God, today, God is going to turn everything around. And those enemies, those evil ones, those afflicting your souls, God will save you from them. And it's going to give you the victories in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said God delivered them from the hands of their enemies. Today, those who have laid snares for you to destroy you, God is going to deliver you from their hands in the mighty name of Jesus. God is going to bring you that victory that you so deserve in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, I've made a covenant with you. I've chosen you. I've chosen you as the one to bring that deliverance. Dear child of God, this is the reason God has chosen you. He says, by the hand of my servant David, I will save my people. He said, I will save my people Israel out of the hand of the Philistines and out of the hand of all their enemies. By your hand, dear child of God, God will save your family. By your hand, dear child of God, God will save your household. By your hand, dear child of God, God will save the legacy of the family. By your hand, dear child of God, God will save your business. By your hand, dear child of God, God will make sure your family do not go down in ruins. By your hand, dear child of God, God is going to uplift everyone in your household. Yes, you may look like the insignificant one. You may look like the one who has been thrown to the side. But don't worry, God will use you to change your family. God will use you to bring a facelift to your household. He will use you to save you from the afflictions, to save your household from all the things that is supposed to to destroy every of your reputation in the mighty name of Jesus. You see the same David, who the Lord said by his hand is going to save his people, was the one who was thrown into the wilderness, was the one who was neglected, dear child of God. When the Lord came anointing the people, when the Lord came anointing the one who he would use and make the deliverer, dear child of God, David was not present. David was not mentioned, dear child of God because they saw him as the insignificant one, because they saw him as one who could not amount to much. Dear child of God, who are those talking you down? Who are those saying that you will not amount to much? Who are those thinking that nothing good would ever come out from your life? Today, God will use you to be a shocker to them in the mighty name of Jesus. When every one of them's head rejected the anointing, David, was sought for. David was called upon and God used him to save his people. God used him to announce his family. God used him, dear child of God, to bring a facelift to his own household. Today, God will use you to announce your family for good in the mighty name of Jesus. There may be no one who is known from your household, but today you would arise. God will give you all the capacities that you need. It may be some intellectual capacity. God will give it to you. And through that means, dear child of God, you will save your entire family. 
you will save your entire family you will save your entire family from starvation dear child of god you will save your entire family from poverty you will save your entire family from the afflictions of the enemies you will save your entire family from the generational causes you will save your entire family from the sicknesses that may have ravaged your home in the mighty name of jesus he says i will save my people israel yes by the hand of my servant david I will bring them out of the hands of the Philistines, out of the hands of their enemies. Dear child of God, whatever those enemies are, whoever they are, God will find you. He would use you and bring you as the deliverer in the mighty name of Jesus. Just like God found Esther and used her to save her people, this is how God is going to find you in the mighty name of Jesus. She knew that she was anointed. She knew that she was raised she knew that god had sought after her for such a time that she needed to save her people and deliver them god brought her into the palace for the specific reasons of saving the family of saving our entire generation of saving our clan dear child of god this is the reason god will send you to some places this is the reason god will position you in some places that you ought to be because he has determined to save many, to save your entire family, to save your household, to save your nation by your hand in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who may have been contending against you, those who may have been contending against your progress, those who may have been contending against your family, they will discover that God had raised you up. They will discover that God is using you to do amazing things. They will discover that no more can they be an oppression to you because God is using you to change everything for the best. He said, by the hands of David, I will save my people. Dear child of God, get set. Such as God found Esther, God has found you. Such as God found Jael, God has found you. It doesn't matter your sex, dear child of God. God will use you to save your entire generation. Yes, you may be saying, I'm not manly enough. Don't worry. All of the resources that you need, the help that you need, the aid that you need, the assistance that you need, God will cause you to have them in the mighty name of Jesus. And such as he found David, such as he found Gideon, such as he found Esther, such as he found Deborah, such as he found Jael, dear child of God, so God will find you to save your family, to save your household in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will discover, you will know that for such a time as this, as God found you, such as God found Joseph and used Joseph to change the name of his family and gave them a facelift. Dear child of God, this is how God will find you and use you to bring a lot of people to the place of rest. You see, Joseph said, you meant it for evil. You had done evil against me. But God had planned evil. But God had planned good out of it. And then he further said, to save many people. He said, to save many people. Despite all that they have done against you. Yes, it may even come from your family members. They may be the one fighting you, dear child of God. They may be the one oppressing you. They may be the household enemies fighting against your progress. But today, God would uplift you. And you will say, indeed, you meant it for evil. But God had turned it for good so as it can save many people. Dear child of God, through you, God will do amazing things. God will do wonders. And indeed, you will be able to say to God, thank you. Thank you for finding me worthy. Thank you for using me. Thank you for giving me the strength and might that I needed to bring a change to my family. Dear child of God, you are not a write-off. You are not a write-off. It seems like at that time, David was a write-off. No one knew about him. Nobody gave him the chance to even have life. Nobody gave him the chance to have any say, dear child of God. He was always there, right in the wilderness. But he never knew that God was giving him strength. At the time he fought against the lion, God was training him. At the time he fought against the bear, God was training him to face Goliath. Dear child of God, you may look like the insignificant one. But do not worry. God is taking you through the process. God is training you. And when that time comes, God will use you. 
as the deliverer. God will use you to do mighty things. God will use you to save a lot of people. And you will say, indeed. You will say, indeed. You will say, indeed. God found me and have used me to save many people. This will be your testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Be strengthened, dear child of God. Have faith for God is going to use you and do amazing things in your life and in your family. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.